Welcome to this tutorial on formatting in HTML. We're going to build on the information from my previous tutorial, Anatomy of an HTML Page. So, if you haven't watched that tutorial yet, it might be a good idea. <coughs> so, we're going to start by using Bluefish Editor uh, or whatever web program you want. Uh, and we have a simple page up here. Uh, where we just have the main content of the page here in the body and uh, a title in the head, penguins. You can see the page here. It looks pretty simple, right? There's just some basic text on the page. So we're going to learn about how to format different things onto a web page, okay? This is all going to be done from the body of the page. So <clears> the <throat> first thing we're going to do is learn about... Uh, different uh, basic text functions. Uh, first, what if we wanted to make this word here content bold? All we have to do is start a B for bold tag here and end the tag here. B for bold. Here's start bold and end bold. Anything between the start bold and the end bold tags will be bold. Let's go ahead and save this file <coughs> refresh the page here. You see now the word content is bold. Very cool, huh? If we want to take this and just uh, move it over here, for instance, uh, we save, save that, right? And uh, now what happens is a lot of words are bold. Four of them are bold now. So, what if instead of bold, we wanted to make uh, we wanted to make it italic. We want to uh, make it slanted or italic or whatever you care to call it. Instead of B, we just use I. Start I and end I, right? So let's go ahead and save that and we'll take a look at what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Isn't that dashing? Now we have an italic content. The word content is now an italic. That is very cool. So what if we want to underline it? Well, we can just use U, uh, U and U, right? So underline, U and U for underline and underline. Go ahead and save that. And we'll refresh the page again. Now it's underlined. Take a look. Isn't that exciting? So what if we wanted to do some page formatting? Uh, what if we wanted to have more than one paragraph? Well, if we did that now, this is a second paragraph. If we uh, just did it like this, what would happen is, well, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't, they would just be next to each other because HTML doesn't recognize that we've jumped down a line here. So what we need to do is start a P for paragraph tag here end it over here. Now we need to uh, place another P for paragraph tag down here and end P. So the P's stand for paragraph, start paragraph, end paragraph, start paragraph, end paragraph. Go ahead save that and now let's uh, open our page again. Look at that, now we have some neat paragraphs. Now what if we wanted to do a heading with some nice bold text up here? Well, we could do that like this. Let's put in a heading. H, uh, so you can see our options here. We have H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. That's basically different sizes of headings. Let's try H1. This is a heading. So, whoops, H1. Okay, so start H1 end h1. Basically h1 just means heading of the first size. That's going to be a heading of the biggest size. Now let's go ahead and look at that. That's very big. What if we wanted to make it a little smaller? Perhaps that's too much. We could change it to h3 instead. h3 and h3. Start heading 3, end heading 3. Okay. Let's just save that and take a look at what it looks like. That's a lot smaller. It's still bigger than the main content of the uh, page. So we'll keep it like that. 
Actually, maybe maybe let's go with H2. I think that would be just about perfect. We'll change it to start H2, end H2. So in between is going to be the heading, which is in uh, heading to format. There we go. That's about perfect. All right. So now we've just been over some typical text functions and some page formatting. What if we want to do some really strange stuff, such as uh, uh, this is super text. This is subtext. Let's just do this. SUP, the SUP tag, and uh, we would wanna, we would wanna um, listen here. Document wrap, so we wrap the text. So it doesn't go off the page. This is SUP. Okay, SUP is the tag for super text. I'll show you what super text does. Start super text in super text. Here is our text that's going to be super text. All right. So we'll just refresh this. And super text is that text that's kind of up here. So if uh, if I wanted to say, for instance, um, this is the third, and then I could just put RD like this. This is the third. This is the third what? I don't know. But see, now the RD is neatly up there. Okay. Now, subtext is just going to be a little different. We're going to put SUB and SUB, okay? Sub, sub, start, subtext, end subtext, okay? We're going to save that and we're going to take a look at what it does. Subtext goes down there, right? So, supertext is up here, subtext is down there. It's like Superman in the subway. Okay. So, the next thing we are going to try is, why don't we go ahead and start a new paragraph here. Start paragraph, end paragraphs. Uh, start P, end P. Okay, so in between here we're just going to put, this is a new paragraph. <coughs> what if we uh, wanted to strike this out and say, uh, this is a new paragraph, or instead we'll say ninja. Let me show you. Strike. We'll start a strike and then we'll end a strike. Okay. So we'll save this again. Okay. And uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like. This is a, oh, new paragraph ninja. Oops, I messed that up because I didn't actually want this here. I wanted it here. This is a new paragraph, or no, it's actually a ninja. See? Our strike just kind of puts a line through that text. It's really cool. So, now we're going to uh, go over one last thing. Lists. Uh, lists are uh, slightly more advanced, but they're not extremely hard. We're first going to go over ordered lists, okay? So an ordered list is going to be start OL, Start OL, end OL for ordered list, okay? Each item in the list is going to be uh, like this. List, basically LI for list item, LI, LI. Start LI, end LI. We're going to make three items in this list, okay? So we have our ordered list, our ordered list, which means it's going to order it with numbers. And then we have three different items, right? <coughs> First, we're going to put uh, pirates. Then we'll put ninjas. Then we will put um, hobos. Yes, that works. <laughs> All right. So let's save this, and we're going to view our page again. So go ahead and refresh the page. Here we have an ordered list that includes pirates, ninjas, and hobos. Isn't that cool? It adds numbers automatically to the list. Now what if we were to, instead of ordered list, we put UL and UL, start UL, end UL, for unordered list. <coughs> Let's go ahead and save that and look at what it does. Refresh. Now we just get bullet points instead of our ordered list. 
I kind of like the order a little better, so let's just uh, go with OL, okay? We'll check that out again. There we are. So, we've learned how to do some basic and pretty exciting formatting for web pages. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. Uh, hopefully, we'll get deeper in future video tutorials, and uh, I appreciate you viewing. Talk to you later. Cameron Versluce, over and out.